I think I'm live. Uh, what's up, CB? Rose, come on down here. Good morning, welcome, dear. I'm still going to give the same speech, whether you're here or not. I was going to wait to the end, but I'll do this now. Because she is on. And I want her to hear this. And I am going to speak on behalf of... Rose, what is tomorrow night, Wednesday? Come on down tomorrow night. Come on tomorrow, down tomorrow night at 7 or 8. Whatever time you get here, just message me. And uh, you can just come in here and jam. I'm down tomorrow night. You more welcome. I will say this now, and I will be, I will speak on behalf of the entire community. And whether I'm right or I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Because that's what they do. I was going to wait till the end on this, and I and I had no intentions of you were going to be on or not. Rose, you're an amazing, talented, beautiful young lady with the world ahead of you. That's fine. I, 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 you don't ever hesitate. Don't ever hesitate. You can that door. You come through that door anytime you want. Come in here and play. I'll fire it up and walk out. Go ahead, even if I'm leaving. You're a beautiful, talented, amazing young lady. Before you even went through and so, so many rounds to get even where you did, we we knew that. Everybody knows it, that you're talented. And it's nothing against those that did not pick you, but I don't, I don't need someone telling me what, what a diamond we have here in Morgan County in you. Um, you're raised right. You have great parents. And it's just, it's just sad that they didn't give you the opportunity for the rest of the world to see what we already know. But um, you're very strong-willed. You have great faith. So I I know there's disappointment in your tone and your eyes. You could read it, but 100% know that this is the this is this this is the steps you're supposed to be on. So very proud of you, and we all love you, and just can't wait to see what your next venture is. So just wanted to tell you, thank you for the enjoyment that you've given us thus far. And, and can't wait to see what's next because I just wanted to see on TV. I, I wanted to, I wanted to see if they, and, and I, I don't watch the show personally. The only reason I watched the show is because you were on there. I quit watching it <laughs> back when, um, Stoddart, uh, Ruben Stoddart won. That's like the last year I watched it. I'm, I'm just being honest. Uh, but, I wanted to see if they could grasp um, the vibe and the feelings that you give off, especially when you walk through the door here or just to hang around you. And uh, it's very contagious. There you go. Look at that. That's awesome. You're... There's damn few people you meet in your life where you just want to be around. You know, you just want to be around them. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to hear them say anything. You just want to be around them. And Rose is that type of person. She just gives you a good feeling by being near her. And all the other stuff is gravy. Her, her talent level, her songs when she sings, she resonates. And it just, you, you feel the words. And it's just a, a magical thing. Uh, two weeks ago on Monday night. And I forget the other gal's name, but two totally different singers, but very similar in the way they delivered it. Rose is just pours passion into her words. And, and that lady will just sit back like she's, in, for lack of better words, at a bar talking to you, but singing a song. And it just rolled off her tongue. And then across the table, Rose doing the same thing. And it was utterly amazing in here. And then, uh, of course, last night we had Russ and Dallas, and, and they, they they both did almost the same. It, it, we've had 
We've had great shows in the past, but the last two weeks have been amazing. And of course, with Rose in here two weeks ago, it was just over the top. When both the ladies left, even Rob was like, that's going to be hard to beat. Is that that was a good show. But disappointed for you because I know you put a lot of effort into it. Um, but it, we're just selfish because we know you're you're that good. Rebecca, yeah, thanks, Corey. We know you're that good and you deserve to be. You're, you're as good, or, if not better, than everybody that I saw. And that's uh, my opinion is jaded, yes. But um, I saw the uh, uncomfortable young lady walk in here the first time and sit next to me on the show. And uh, uh, the young woman that has emerged in that brief amount of time uh, is, is just amazing. And like I said, we are blessed. Our community is blessed. And I am blessed to call you a friend and cannot wait to see what's next. Is There's certainly a next. And I'll stop because I know people are like, well, get off of it. I understand. Rose is a special person. JB's a special dad. Her mom's a special lady. They're all good people. And coming from Hicktown, USA, we don't get to we don't get to lock onto stuff like that very often, but this time we do. Anyway, Rose doors open. Whenever you're ready, you call me day or night, doesn't matter. If you call me at two AM, I'll come down here and unlock the door and be like, I'm going to bed. Just turn that on. Call Corey. He can run the board. So <laughs> Heck, you probably could do it anyway. Anyway, that was that was my last item I was going to address tonight because I wanted to say that before we signed off, but she was on here, and obviously she's ready to go to bed. She's tired. Um, I wanted to mention last night was a good show with Russ and uh, Dallas. Dallas uh, did awesome. I was uh, thoroughly impressed with him. Uh, again, two totally different singers. <clears throat> Dallas certainly has the countryside down and he does a wonderful job with that and Russ is an amazing singer. That Corey's always up. <laughs> there you go. At least we can go to the circle gig get our polar pops until something big happens. That's that's exactly right. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. The, the big city people just don't know what they're missing. I, I've lived, I, I've traveled halfway around the globe, north, east and west, and halfway, around, about a quarter way around the globe, north to south, and um, been in a lot of different countries. I've been in some real turd bowls in some real beautiful places, but, um, and we have our issues. We, we've got a drug problem, we know that. We've got a housing problem. Um, we've got bad cops, as pointed out tonight, and I was going to address that here in a few but there's a lot of special people in this town and there's a lot of a lot of communities that can't match what the people of this community do people like rose and jb and uh that's what makes this place special and then you got people like billy <laughs> you could have come in here and um it, it could have been rose and billy in here tonight playing guitars that would have been a special, special moment. We got to make that happen. We're going to have to make that happen. Anyway, we're at the end of March. April is upon us. Baseball, softball, camping, cookouts. Let's, let's get it rolling. I think this is going to be a magical spring and summer. You leave Billy alone, <laughs> <laughs> he deserves every second of it trust me we'll <laughs> uh, don't don't inflate his ego anymore it is pull her pop pop there you go there you go um brings here we're only a few days away. It's a regional thing. It's like chili and cinnamon rolls. We do our own thing around here. Spring's here. Summer's here. It's going to be baseball season. we got a pretty day tomorrow. Well, warm and windy and a chance of storms. So be careful late in the day. 
it's going to cool off for a little bit, but I think we're going to have a fantastic spring, a fantastic summer. We're going to get through this stuff. We've got to stay positive. But interesting night tonight on, on some of the channels on Facebook. <laughs> Billy does have a Polar Pop song. He does. He sung it in here the other night. Rose, you got to hear it. Uh, if you're, if you're doing, if, if you're it, breaking the speed limit by 5, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour, first of all, they can get you for reckless driving, I think, over 15. And an officer of the law decides to cut you brake and beep you with its horn, flick the lights at you one time, maybe... Maybe scold you on his intercom. <laughs> don't, don't put that thing in the same category. <laughs> don't even put that in the same category, Rose. That is hilarious. Yeah, Officer 504. If he gives you a break and then you want to rant on it, rant and rave about it that you were you were embarrassed or harassed. Come on. I mean those the men and women of law enforcement go through enough and <laughs> the key 504 is mean see if I had my own printer I want my own shirt printer you know what I'm going to go on here I'm going to do my own fundraiser be like help ports time buy its own printing press so we can make our own shirts because I would have a shirt on already that said, 504 is mean. <laughs> but it, I, I don't understand. I, I read that a thousand times. I was like, am I missing? Is there a sentence that got deleted? Because they go through it. The police officers go through, go through enough. They catch enough flack. And for the guy to do what he did, guy or gal, I don't, I don't know. I don't know who 504 is. I, I knew what 501 was, and wasn't that a gene back in the 80s with like 9,000 too many buttons in the front? Um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See? We, we'd have those shirts. Those shirts would have been on the print. I'd have went in there, made me a shirt, walked in here, and went live and put 504's a meanie. A meanie head. They go through enough, and when they cut you a break, you're going you're gonna to give them crap. I guarantee you, had he given her a ticket, they probably would have posted anyway and complaining about getting a ticket. So, I, 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 I don't get that one. That is hilarious. I don't know, I don't know what a new printing press cost, I, I, but I, I'm going to look it up. If it's 20K, I'll sit in here every night and be like, we're at 800 bucks, we're only... Nine nineteen thousand two hundred away from getting a printing press, and I will print shirts like that all freaking day. Um, I I know people are stressed. I know it's been an eventful last two years. Food price. See, I, I, that's that's there's no logic to it. I was just like, are you kidding me? I, wait a minute. <laughs> Media head, exactly. The ultimate. Let's go, let's go 504. Uh, the, the jokes write themselves when when you read that. So I, I, I don't like commenting over there because it's it's sometimes the mob mentality. Sometimes you get, I don't like commenting on anything other than our own site 90% of the time because you, you could say the wrong thing and then next thing you know it's twisted and, and you got... A hundred people mad at you, and if I want to make people mad at me, I'm 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 pretty adept at, at knowing how to do that. Um, I can I can turn the tables with the best of them, but I was just like, I don't get this, and I read through all the comments, and I was like, I just, I don't I don't get it. Another thing that people are upset about is the parking garage. I know, I know there is, but I mean, I, I would, I would, I would do it myself. I would have already printed now. Wouldn't have to wait. JB, there's a story written on another site that the gal was doing 15 to 20 over the speed limit. Uh, 
she came up on a police officer, I believe, and passed him, and he clicked his lights and uh, kind of honked. So she slowed down. Um, and then when they got to the stoplight, I guess he beeped her on his mic and said something to her and told her she was doing 70 fans. Didn't get out of his car, didn't give her a ticket, didn't didn't do anything. So I'm assuming, best case scenario, 70 and 60, because she was on 67, which could have been 45, could have been 55, who knows? There's there's different speed limits that have done through there. But she posted that she was embarrassed or harassed. Yeah, just reading that. Yeah, harassed and embarrassed and everything. And and called the officer's car out at f number 504, which I'm not sure if there is a 504. Um, but it was just, it was odd. Because after you read, after you read about four lines, it was like, wait a minute. Her opening statement was she was doing 70 miles an hour. And yet didn't get a kick ticket. I guarantee you, if I was doing 20, 25 miles an hour over speed limit and my brother pulled me over, I'd get tased. Tased, videotaped, and the entire department would laugh at it. <laughs> and they'd all show up and tase me. And then I'd go on there and be like, I was harassed and embarrassed. Just kidding. Yeah, try to pass him to in 70. I, it's just, she, she owes the guy a thank you. That's a big thing. That'd be a massive ticket. If she was doing 70 to 60 or 70 to 55, I believe 15's reckless, I believe, and they could put you on the hook. So, and I get, there's a lot of people on edge and stressed and the world is a mess right now, but folks, we're all in the same boat. What's up, Tony? I was humiliated. We're all in the same boat. Maybe paddling from different ends of it, but Mountain Dew 504. <laughs> That's what it was. She was trying to slingshot engaged. Shake and bake. I don't know. When you when you um when you're bored on a weeknight and you don't feel like doing much and you go through all of social media. Some of the stuff I, I bounced around from TikTok to Insta to I agree, Tracy. I bounced around for a few different sites tonight and was just like, man, there's some there's some angry people right now. It's not it's not gonna get any better anytime soon, folks. So you know, we can either fight and argue and and be hateful. Or just get through it. That's all we can do. Keep the faith. As Penny said. Penny said earlier. <laughs> JB, there's there's probably some truth to that. Now. What else I got? That's all I had written down. Now we got to get... We got to get Billy in here with Rose and they can sing the, they can duet. They can duet the Polar Pop song. It can't be on a Monday. We know that. It could be Sunday night, not. Yeah, Will Smith started it. Um, I'll get to that in a second. It can't, it might, it could be Sunday night. I know because I got people coming in. Oh, I guarantee she will, Teresa. She may still get that ticket. Can't do it on a Sunday night, but we can do it on a another night. We can call it not Monday Music Hour. Paper Beach Rock. No kidding. I think that was stage. I don't care what they say. The, the numbers for the, the Oscars are dismal. And keep going downhill. Nobody gives a crap what they do anymore. It may have been staged. I think it got a little more aggressive than what they thought. But 
I don't care. I didn't want. I didn't watch the Oscars. I, I watched the clip on a TikTok and just shook my head. So, and and I did see something tonight where someone said if anybody else would have done that, anybody in that theater would have done that, they probably would have been escorted out. But Will Smith had the green light to whatever he wanted. But other than that, is today Tuesday or Monday? Today's Tuesday. Yeah. And I'm getting old. Tomorrow's hump day. We get through the week. 75 degrees tomorrow. Windy. Storms chance late. Could get a little bumpy. Typical spring day. Going to get hot. Cold front's going to come through. Drop back down the 40s. Good mushroom growing weather. Mushrooms be up for too long. Baseball, softball starting April 7th, I think, is opening day. Please do not forget, we had a ton. We've been broadcasting this and begging people. We had a ton of contestants sign up today. I think we're up to 10 or 11 now. But um, Star Search, it's $1,000 cash if you win. $1,000. And we have some talent coming. I mean, great singers. Cannot wait. If you're interested. <laughs> there you go. Well, he may face charges. Is that what that said? Can't really. R Rosie, yay. You, you are, I think you're allowed. Um, By the 31st. Is that tomorrow? What is today? Two days. You got until the 31st. I'm not going to sign up. Thousand bucks to the winner. <laughs> Billy O would give you a smack down. All right. Don't forget, we do have our golf outing coming up September, or September, Saturday, April 30th. This is for a scholarship fund that we give away. <laughs> we need sponsors and we need players out of Foxcliff. So get a hold of me and get, get your sponsorship and get a player. Oh, I'm sure you do, Rose. It would be fun. Get him, get, get him signed up. I think you would do extremely well, too. Let's, let's not. Billy, not so much. Billy's trying to ride in on your coattails. Cedar Creek, May 7th. Opening night. Can't wait for that. We got a big thing coming up this, this summer. After our star search and after the golf outing, we're going to do a cancer weekend. Cancer Survivor Day is going to be Saturday. I think it's June 4th, and that's Shave for the Brave. And then June 5th from Saturday, June 4th at noon till Sunday, June 5th at noon, we're going to try to run 24 hours. Billy's going to have the late night shift. He's going to be, we got to split it up so we all, we all have equal hours. I'll be on from like noon till 6. And then Billy's going to take over from 6 p.m. till noon the next day. So. <laughs> Do I'll let you use my speedy rewards card. That's classic. The key, what he just sent me. That's awesome. 
I agree with that a hundred percent. Um, so that's going to be a big day. Bethany puts a lot of time into those two events, uh, Shape for the Brave and the Cancer Survivor Day. It's going to be down at West Middle on the 4th. And then, of course, we're going to do an auction. We're going to do an auction from noon to noon. Try to be on for 24 hours. And we're going to try to raise, raise money. And it's all going to go to Children's Cancer Research or St. Jude. We're going to give it to something related to cancer. Uh, these are going to be the two days we set aside. And we're going to try to do it every year. So maybe that night we can get Rose to come in here late and play some music and ask for donations and, and just keep us going. And then we got to make it through from noon till noon, uh, 24 hour period. <clears throat> I think we can do it. I think if I drink enough coffee, we'll take breaks. We'll take breaks about every four or five hours, log off for about 15 minutes and come back on. Um, we're going to, we're going to try to give away, uh, gift cards and things like that and try to raffle them off for money. We're going to try to get as much of the community involved as we can. So we have to really get on that right after the golf outing. By the way, Jeremy Toomey won the $25 gift card last night from Gather Round Barbecue on the question for on Monday Music Hour. Congrats to him. I will get this to him. So look forward to that in June. That is That is going to be a big week, big weekend. And... And I'm really excited for that because that's something I always wanted to do. I enjoy the benefits side of what we do, especially when it goes to dealing with childhood cancer. Um, I tell the story, and she does. She isn't on as much anymore because uh, uh, we have a follower from New Zealand that's on every now and then, and uh, she's been through it with her kid. Um, it's very rough when they're that little. And you got to live with that, seeing the pain that they're going through. And every time she showed us a picture of this little guy, he was smiling, whether he was being chemoed or, or just out with his buddies. And it was magical. And I, I, I hope we can help people out like that by what we do. I agree, Jamie. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of needy things in this world. That can need that could use the help, but I, I certainly think that children's cancer research is is one that certainly needs it because that's just heart wrenching. And not a one of us has not been affected by cancer in one way or another, family members, friends. So anytime you can you can help that out, that's a good deal. Don't forget that that's coming up in June, and that's not that far away. We're rolling into April here real soon. All right, what time is it? How long have I been on here, Gavin? I want to tell you, I want to say thank you to my newest sponsor. I'll, I'll do my last two or three new sponsors. Of course, you know, I'll just do them all. American Basement Solutions. Can't say enough about them. Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Masmer. Rips Fitness. Bland and Boys Lawn Care. FindHelp.org. Wayman's Furniture Appliance Mattress. Wellspring, Stid's Comfort System, Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek, it's coming up May 7th, and of course, our newest one, Peggy Mayfield, represented for State District 60, just finished her 10th session, working hard for us, she does a lot of good for this community, this area, and our state, fighting on the good side, is my opinion. So we appreciate Peggy being a sponsor of the show. And I think her and Dean are going to be in here soon enough. Look forward to that. They're good people. Um, we have a lot of fun on election nights. The last one we were in here till 3 a.m. Reps is my gym. Uh, Spud Patan. Late night with Billy O. There you go. Reps is um, your gym. I drive by Reps. JB, that's about as close as I get to it. I need to go. I need to go horribly. Even just going in there, it would do my, just walking the door would do myself good. I feel bad, Rose. I feel bad. If I'd have known that, that you were wanting to come in here and sing, my gosh, I would have. I was just, I did dishes. I got home from work. I was lazy. I went and got some dinner, did some dishes that I was neglecting. 
uh, went in the bedroom to chill out and watch some TV, and that was it. That was my evening. I, I did very little of anything tonight. I, I got home for I worked till six, so I didn't get home till seven ish anyway. But anywho, don't ever hesitate. You, uh, I can give your dad my number, give you my number, or you can message me, call me, text me, carry your pigeon, whatever it takes. If you ever want to come in here, door is always open for you. Always. No, that's all I got. That's all I want to address. Crazy night on Facebook. Crazy night. I need water. I need a vacation. I'm going to go. I get tired of seeing these. By the way, speaking of seeing videos and pictures of down in Florida. Has anybody seen the videos going on down in um, Panama City? Whoo! What a mess. I'm jealous of the Tell us about the parking garage. Um, don't feel bad I was being lazy. Anytime though, Rose, I'm serious. The parking garage is county money. And I think it's going to be county property. I don't think I don't think the city's involved with that. I, I honestly, I, I hope I'm not speaking out of term here, but I'm pretty sure that's county, county, county parking garage. City's going to use it and have access to it, but I think that grant is from the county. So the county itself is probably going to end up being taxed on that. Again, don't quote me on that. But it's not just us. So imagine if we're upset here in Martinsville, we don't have the money to pay for that. Imagine being in Mooresville and you're being taxed for something that's being that's part of um, county. Anyway, I, I think there was a need. I said a few years ago when I was trying to run for somewhere, I said there's a need for a parking garage downtown. And in my mind, there was a couple locations that fit the bill. Um, they chose to put it where they put it. Kudos to them. We need a parking garage. I don't know if we need a three-story or an eight-story or a ten-story. I've not seen a study. I don't know what all they're going to use it for. But it's it's something that would have had to been built sooner or later anyway. Um, you may free up spaces downtown. Downtown is packed now. We've got businesses that stay open. It's busy down there. Especially on the weekends. That's something. Change of thought here. That's something we're going to try to do. If something new. As we're looking into. Is going down there on a Friday night. Uh, this summer. Maybe not every Friday night. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure it's county. Um, and going live. Either at a location. Or just outside the location. Downtown. Um, and just kind of take in the old. The feel of downtown and people out and about. I'm going to try to do that a couple times. See how that goes. But people are all upset about it, but it's... It had to happen sooner or later. And if you're wanting to grow your city, there's little things you can do to improve, improve the look. I still think we should be fighting for a complete hospital because we don't have a complete hospital anymore. Um, we should be raising all sorts of cane with somebody with that. That That is an attraction to people that want to come in and put business. Taps on the Square, Friday nights. Bruce McKee, what a wonderful job. Spirit of 45 does, and those people, those are amazing human beings right there. And uh, hats off to Bruce and Jerry and the rest of the gang. But when you can do things like that, when you can improve your city, even in small increments, it, it only helps out in the long run. And I'm sure, nobody's going to see the benefit right off the bat. Everybody's going to hate it. Blah blah blah. They made the decision. I think there's a there's another town hearing on it.
you yes uh, and the individual that just messaged me you let me know and we will make that happen one million percent 100 percent on that that would be awesome and i won't spoil that one i'm one million percent behind what i was just sent via messenger not when we can be sneaky about things until until it's too late just have to see it yes yes to that and i'll get billy involved in that too so yeah the the count the garage is county um It'll it'll be okay. I know people are upset because some of them gonna move and all this and that and the construction. It'll be okay. It, it'll it'll help the city one way or another. Nobody likes change. Where's well, Abigail? Abby, you're an amazing young lady yourself. You have a lot going on. I see you offering classes now. Hang on. Um, Billy, you have to come in and we're going to shave the, the hair on your back. Well, not really shave. We're going to. We're gonna use duct tape to remove it. No, I'll call I'll call you after I'm down here. Teaching yoga classes in Mooresville from time to time. Hmm. I thought it said yogurt classes, and I was like, I could swing by there and pick up yogurt too. Good. Good germs are better than the bad germs, or say so. Not germs. <laughs> no, I knew you're doing yoga and, and being an instructor. You have come a long way, and keep pushing. I'm very proud of you. I'm an amazing young lady right there. Another one in our community that does wonderful things. And I, I, I'm the lucky guy that gets to meet all these fine people. There's still people coming on. How you doing, Vicky? Hang on. I know. You're supposed to come in here and rant and rave with me one night, and you didn't. You ditched me. You left me in the cold. It took me a few days to recover, ego-wise. But, but I made it. I, I survived. I I persevered. It is what it is. Yeah, you're as busy as I am. You do about nine thousand different jobs. I know you're a fireman. You're a police officer. You 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 you've done it all, and you're only about twenty one or something ridiculous. Got to get you in here. Got to get you in here and let you rant and rave with me. We need, to, we need to have a girls' night where four girls come in here and you just talk it up, solve all the problems in one night. I'm out for the night. Such a lightweight. Sure enough, Ab, I'll get a hold of you. You need to have a bunch of gals come in here and just talk it up one night and, and solve all the problems in one night. I'm ready to do some cooking shows, too. We got that grill. We're using it this year. We're doing it this year. Educating on banking. I talked to him tonight, too, for a little bit. I am... <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Woohoo! 200 stars. <laughs> Penny's a problem solver. Use my boot in my right foot. There you go. 
200 stars at 11, what is it, 11 o'clock? I can't even see. 7.30. And right foot, okay. There you go. All right. I think I've talked myself into sleep. Eating, <laughs> eating nutty bars and watching bowling. Whoo! Slow down, Billy. You might need an intervention. You just need, you just need to slow down. It's not what he knows; it's what he doesn't know. I'm sure he doesn't know the history of Home Bank as much as some of us old timers. That's for sure. Billy, all I got to say is you better practice up on that Polar Pop song. You got to practice up on it. You guys are crazy. I love all you guys. It's amazing. Um. Some of the messages I get from all walks of life of this county. Um, people I barely know. Uh, they say good things about the show. and, and Right. I hear you, JB. Um, it, it deeply... Do me a favor, though. When you, when you uh, interact with one of our sponsors, please make sure you tell them you heard their names on here on Port Time. That's important to me and to them because I want them to know that uh, they're spending their money wisely by advertising through us, and we appreciate their business and uh, always have room to grow. We have two new, we have two other sponsors coming on that I, I have yet to say because we're waiting on um, logos from them, but some very very cool sponsors coming on board, and we're excited. And if you want to be a sponsor, pro websites up. Uh, uh, .com. Uh I guarantee you could go there right now. This show is running there right now, um, or will be shortly. The minute we click off, um, they load instantly. Uh, we will have a blog on there. Uh, <laughs> Billy will have a beard oil blog on there. Um, we'll have a blog on there where you can interact with the blog. Uh, we'll be able to post some pics, uh, a community calendar. We're going to have um, a new new sponsor set up on there. So if you want to be a sponsor of the web page, you can. Uh, lots of cool things coming, and we're going to keep growing and see what we can do. But always trying to keep our community in mind. We are expanding now a little bit. We're getting, we had, uh, I think we had 15 people last night on from Scotland watching, which was just freaking awesome. That that is awesome, and this this um, hour of broadcasting has been brought to you by Billy's Beard Oil, not just not for just the hair on your chin, but for the hair on your back also. And the next half an hour will be brought to you by Gorilla Tape to help you remove that hair on your back. Uh, I need to trim mine; it's getting shaggly. Exactly. I'm, I'm thinking about cutting off, just going back to the goatee. Just for a little bit. Big yarn. Oh. Hmm. About time for me to go to bed and read the Reader's Digest. Watch Fred Sanford. Something. All right. Next week, we're going to have a special show. I cannot tell you what it is yet. Um, you have to stay tuned. Something very cool. Something extremely cool. And I can't believe Billy's going to be part of it, so he, he better be free, or else he'll be removed from every Porch Time event page in the history of our company. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all you do for us. Um, you all are amazing. Everybody out there, keep your chin up. I know it sucks right now. It sucks for everybody. We're all rowing in the same boat, though. Hey, well, hey there from Monrovia. 
mid, actually from Mooresville, works in Monrovia. Hey, I, I um I would love to get that uh, second place team from the state on. I keep waiting to hear from somebody. Not a word, not a peep. That's another one. That, that lady right there, Jennifer Kramer, as I know her, because I've known her for a very, 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 very long time. She is one of the gals that I can call and say, I'm in need. I got a family I'm trying to help you out. Love you too, JB. Got a family I'm trying to help out. Can you help me? And it doesn't matter if I need it in six hours, six minutes, or six days. She's one that always steps up. She's one of my go-tos. One of the ones I put in my pocket and be like, I'm not using Jennifer yet. She's my Trump, Trump card. Trump card. I can't say Trump, can I? I better not... I better not say that word. Somebody might get offended. Um, she's just something that's like a trump card to keep in my pocket that when I need uh, need help. But love her. Uh, she's good people. It's like a lot of people that come on here. We love it. All right, y'all. Time for me to go put my Spider-Man PJs on. It's a full onesie. Zipper in the front, of course, with the feet. Pretty cool. One of these days I'll wear it on air. You guys have a wonderful evening. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Keep your chin up. We'll get through this one way or another. One way or another. Love you. Be safe. We will see you. What is tomorrow Wednesday? I might pop back on tomorrow night. Who knows what we do. Next week's going to be fun. I'm telling you, fun show next week. Fun, fun new, exciting show. We got to come up with a name with it. My hair's better than his. Ah, that's awesome. Night, Wendy. You guys, get some sleep. Tomorrow's tomorrow's hump day. Going to be pretty. 75, windy. Maybe some storms later on in the afternoon. Peace. We'll see you guys.